Okay. So first of all, I saw the Connect uh, 2021 is our way of connecting virtually with all members and future members to establish ties and reconnect with colleagues in social teaching and learning. We hope through online, we hope through online events like I saw the Connect 2021 that we can collectively ease the isolation and overcome the distances we have all experienced throughout 2020 and are still experiencing today. Here is ISOTO's mission uh, for the benefit particularly of newcomers. Uh, you can read details at leisure on our website uh, at isoto.com. But let me just say that ISOTO serves as a scholarly platform for faculty, full or part-time, staff and students. Every person who is an educator is precious to us. We do particularly want to reach out to students and emerging social scholars because we embrace students and emerging scholars as the next generation of social scholars and leaders who will carry on the important work of education through classroom practice, social scholarship and leadership work. We urge participants who are currently students and emerging scholars to please look us up either through a direct email to one of us. My email is in the chat or you can visit our website to check out how you wish to be engaged. Here are the important questions that guide our work on the ISOTO board. We regularly seek to find ways to bring diverse voices into our conversations about education and about SOTO. We want to increase the diversity of representation. And by representation, we don't just mean geographical location, but also cultural perspectives, positionality, the diverse range of academic disciplines, identities, and viewpoints. We want to enable diversity at our table so that everyone gains from learning from the varied ways of being and the different ways of knowing. You may recognize some of these names on the ISO, on the ISO board of directors. Um, we, as you can see, we have four key regions represented on the board, the US, Canada, Europe, and Asia Pacific. We want to extend this map further and reach out especially to more voices from Asia and from the ASEAN region, from India, from the Middle East, from South America and Africa, so that our sort of work can benefit from all of you already doing such wonderful work around the world. This next slide on the brief history of ISOTO is a snapshot of a longer narrative that you can find on the ISOTO website. We hope you will take a minute to read about how we began as a society two decades ago, starting with a very small group of passionate educators who began with a simple concept to enable us to build up the professional society that you see us today. This is our membership map. As you can see, we already enjoy membership representation from across 16 countries. We welcome many more to join us, especially countries in the Asia region from ASEAN, India, and other regions I have already mentioned. If you are not represented in this membership map, you can enrich us further by joining hands with us, come in and help us do the important work of SOTL and teaching and learning. This slide gives you a sense of how we have recently reorganized the way we work as the society expanded in size and our work got more complex. We adopt a many hands approach within each of the four major committees that you see on screen, advocacy, convenings, publications, and recognition. You can read about what each of these committees do at our website at your own time. 
But I do want to let you know that we call for members to serve in these committees regularly. So please consider joining us as a member and definitely consider stepping into the work of these committees, whether it is to help with outreach, uh, with mentoring other colleagues, organizing events like this one, work with different publication platforms to spread SOTO scholarship, and importantly, help us to think about how good work can be appropriately recognized. You probably have already encountered our ISOTO journal, Teaching Learning Inquiry, or TLI. This journal has come a long way since its inception in 2012. And now eight years on, it continues to be developed as a collegial scholarly platform for knowledge exchange. Our two current editors are Katarina Martinson from Sweden and Kelly Schrum from the United States. The conference, the ISOTO conference, is our signature event. It is highly anticipated each year. It's an annual series. And uh, here on this slide, you see where we have brought our conference series over the years. The last time we met at a physical conference site was Atlanta 2019. The pandemic has sadly prevented us from doing our 2020 conference. And this 2020 conference cancellation is just one reason why we are meeting everyone online today in this ISOTO Connect 2021 event. I have uh, pasted the link for the ISOTO Connect 2021 uh, event uh, schedule uh, in the chat. Please access that if you don't know where to find it. Uh, this slide summarizes for you what will be available in the next three days. Please look out and tune in to the video recordings and get on Zoom for the office hours offered by our ISOTO fellows, all planned for you. Now, I come to one of the most important slides uh, in today's welcome segment. I want to share this really good news. The ISOTO conference that was canceled in 2020 will be back very soon. And it will be an experiment that our host from Perth, Australia, will be walking through with us at ISOTO. Yes, we would like to share with you today ISOTO's first virtual conference to be hosted by Perth on the theme of sustainable education through SOTO, practices and cultures in October 26 to 29th, 2021. Please mark your calendar. And uh, importantly, please look up for the call for proposals in middle March, March 15, and plan your participation to this much awaited for event. If you join us as a member, uh, you will get the regular ISOPA newsletters and announcements uh, that we put up every month. So um, this is our get involved slide. Uh, when you are ready, please come join us as a member and visit our ISOLO website. Go to the Get Involved page and find your most comfortable way of uh, your most comfortable level of engagement. Connect with any of us anytime. You know, Colin, Kareda, and myself are online with you today. Um, my email is in the chat and our regional vice presidents, uh, Karina and Colin, will be speaking to you next and they are good contact points too. One last important note before I go. Heartfelt thanks go to our organizing committee members, Sophia, Andrea, Mel, Britt and Shannon. This team and many colleagues who worked behind the scenes have volunteered hours of their time and sacrificed a lot of rest in the past few months, just so that we can all connect today in the days to come. This indeed is the ISOTO spirit in my view. We run on passion and we run on volunteer time and a huge dose of collegiality. So this is my last slide. 
Let me uh, unshare screen and get us all back on screen. Uh, it would be really nice if people with uh, bandwidth um, put on the video so that uh, we can get a sense of, um, have, have, have a face to a name. So please allow me a final statement. Come join us if you are not already in ISODO. We welcome you. And if you are already a member, continue to engage us as actively as you can uh, within the schedule of your day jobs. We need as many different voices as we can gather at our table to be part of the important conversations about education and about SODL. I really hope to have the privilege to connect with you soon through email or Zoom. So please take care and over to our regional VPs, Colin and Karina. Thank you. Thanks, Wan Hoon. I'm not sure. Is it Colin or and I? I'm doing the speaking. <laughs> I, uh, well, tell you what, I, I, I simply Zoom has just updated itself for us, and so I, I'm struggling just to, for, for just one moment to share screen. But um, I'll, I'll get there in a minute. I promise. Um, would, would you like me to share screen, Colin, and then you you could still talk to the slides and tell me when to advance. Uh, if uh, if you can get share screen working better than me, that would be helpful. Thank you. How's that? Terrific. Thank you very much. So welcome, uh, uh, welcome from um, from Melbourne. Both uh, both Karina and I. Uh, our academics uh, at Melbourne. I'm uh, the course director of the Bachelor of Business degree at Monash University uh, and Karina is an associate professor in microbiology at the University of Melbourne. So we have friendly rivalry across town um, and it is pretty friendly, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> We're not competing. You're, you're in a different discipline. I'm in biomedicine. <laughs> Yeah, which is, which is, which is um, yeah, I mean, it, it is terrific. And actually, quite seriously, one of the lovely things about working in the scholarship of teaching and learning is the amount of cooperation that there is uh, between uh, different scholars uh, and, between, um, uh, and, and between different universities, which you might not get within disciplines. Um, anyway, perhaps, Karina, if we could move to the, move to the next slide. Um, where we've we've put in an uh, an, in, an Australian indigenous image, um, just to uh, remind everyone. I mean, particularly uh, those of us from uh, from Australia. Uh, this this is an Australian indigenous image, um, but it's important, I think, to understand and respect the the ancestors the in Australia the the indigenous land, the civilization that has existed for 60,000 years. The, uh, the English speaking um, civilization here has only been going for a couple of hundred. So we're, we're pretty new on this country. And I think it helps us to, helps us to understand, I think, and to get perspective uh, on what we're doing and why um, and how, and how we can possibly do it better. So with respect to the uh, indigenous owners of the land uh, from which we're broadcasting uh, and the elders past, present and, uh, and emerging. Um, if we can move to the next slide, please, Karina. I'm sorry that I failed on that. So what actually is different about our region? Why do we have um, an Asia Pacific group in ISOTL, um, especially when um, um, uh, when we're working, working virtually like this, uh, why does it make sense uh, to have a separate, a separate group like that? Well, I mean, Corinne, and, and actually, I'll be looking for, um, I'll, I'll be looking for contributions from the group, please. Um, we have not just the, the oldest culture in, in the world that is based here. I don't think any of the, um, uh, any of the, uh, people in this group uh, have an indigenous, Australian indigenous background, but we also have the world's, uh, the world's largest country, 
uh, very generously represented here. And I'm looking here at all the Chinese names, and I'm assuming that um, an awful, a lot of those are, of course, from, from mainland China. But we have diversity as well. We have diverse, diversity of educational systems. We have diversity of resourcing. Uh, and I suspect that's more than in, than in other regions. Um, now Australia is still predominantly an English-speaking country. Um, China is, when it comes to subtle and ed higher education in any case, is, is bilingual uh, um, and probably more than that too. Um, Australia, I think, has a higher proportion of international students than most, and there again we have those links with, uh, with, with China. Um, because an awful lot, well, until the pandemic hit, an awful lot of the international students, certainly in my business school, came from China, and I think, uh, Karina, in your science faculty as well. Any participants here have any further suggestions? You haven't really come here to listen to me um, chuntering on. This is an interactive conference, so um, and I don't have we don't have the disadvantage of a podium and a microphone for me to hide behind. Uh, so does anybody else have any suggestions about what might make our, our region different? Nothing coming through either via sound or chat. So, um, so perhaps we got it right, um, Karina. Shall I hand over to you for a moment to, to do some more talking? I, I feel a little uncomfortable at me doing the talking and you doing the handmade and stuff. That's okay. Uh, um, under control at this end, I think, I hope. Um, so with respect to uh, our Asia Pacific region, we also felt that there were many opportunities for uh, people interested in SOTL and educational research to get involved. Uh, and in particular, with regard to SOTL, uh, lots of scholarly organisations that you can become members of uh, and engage with uh, in terms of their uh, activities, local activities, regional activities, and perhaps even uh, cross regional activities. So for us here in Australia, um, we have HERDSA. Uh, I'd have to cast to uh, Colin there to explain the acronym of HERDSA, but I suspect it's along the lines of the Higher Education Research... And Development these. Society <laughs> of Australia. Excellent. But then which, there's also... Which does have members in Singapore, actually, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And, uh, we have ASCII Light and uh, many other uh, different uh, meetings. Um, I'm trying to remember the one I go to that's focused on um, STEM, so science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Um, but there's also many disciplinary opportunities to engage in SOTL as well. And um, for a period of time, I was chair of the Australian Society of Microbiology's Education Special Interest Group. Uh, and led uh, the, the scholarly and subtle contributions um, of that particular society. So lots of opportunities to get involved. Uh, Thanks, Karina. We, we've actually we've got some um, uh, participant participation. I think I saw Johan Geertzma um, uh, putting his hand up. You're on mute. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry, Colin, thank you. Um, just a quick uh, note to say that we, we've been trying to set up a Hertz branch in Singapore, um, I'm not currently involved for that, but um, you know, I know there are some people involved uh, from a number of universities uh, here locally to to see if we can set up a Hertz branch. So, 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 so that's also you know um, um, a really nice initiative to to foster subtle. Thank, thank you very much. And if, as I introduce people, I mess up the pronunciation of your name, uh, please do correct me. Um, my, another friend of mine from across town, uh, Liz Levine, uh, po points out in the chat um, that uh, we, it would be great to get uh, people from emerging and developing nations like PNG, uh, Fiji and other Pacific islands. And she also points out that Herza has a Hong Kong branch, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is helpful. So that A should perhaps, actually perhaps Herza should change its name from, uh, 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 from Australia to Asia. Um, so I don't know if, if anybody here has contacts um, who are interested in the scholarship of teaching and learning uh, who are uh, in um, some of those Pacific islands and Papua New Guinea and Fiji, 
please let us know and we'll be very, very happy to, uh, to reach out. Um, and thank you, Chris. Uh, Chris Love introduces himself as another, another scientist, a, a friend of Karina's teaching uh, molecular biology there. Um, so it's, um, yeah, that's good to see. We, we will shortly break into, uh, go into breakout rooms where people can introduce themselves to each other in more detail. We have, we're in the happy position of having too many participants here to be able to, to do it um, in plenary session. Uh, Karina, shall I flick back to you now uh, sure. for, for the next slide? Uh, yes. Oops. There we go. Just noting in the chat that Liz has highlighted that HEDSA is at the Society of Australasia, so it encompasses, encompasses the Asia-Pacific region. So. There you are. I suspect they did that before I suggested it just a minute or so ago. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, did you want to speak to this slide, Colin? I think it, what what we as uh, as the local co-chairs hope that attendees get from this conference is things like that quote. I think that I think that quote is actually from something Huang Hoon said in an email, uh, but looking out for original curiosity, research questions, um, projects, even preparation for research projects, um, trying things out in, in your interest uh, in, and in your context. There's a lot of very good scholarship of teaching and, and learning work that can be tested in different contexts. Um, and I see, in fact, uh, Huang Hoon is, uh, is asking uh, Chris about cultural differences in teaching Chinese versus non-Chinese students. Um, a, a, a question coming, of course, from Singapore there. So that, that, that could be uh, something I think we, we're doing quite well for time. We might actually ask Chris to speak to that. But one of the most important things about a conference, I think anyway, is to make new friends and make new contacts one way or another. Whether those contacts um, are physically close to you or physically on the other side of the world. The Asia Pacific is a huge area. Uh, it covers both hemispheres. Perhaps that's another difference, come to think of it. Um, and But we have roughly the same time zones at least, which is, um, which is helpful compared to say Europe and America. Um, the, uh, you will see on the conference program that there are office hours from time to time where existing uh, acknowledged scholars of teaching and learning uh, who've been appointed uh, ISOTL fellows uh, in recognition of the, uh, of, of the amount and quality of their scholarship of teaching and learning. Um, actually have an office with an open door. So anyone can come, talk to them, listen to them, message them. Uh, there's quite a few of those on. Uh, I will be helping with a couple of those tomorrow. And uh, um, you're, you're absolutely welcome to, to come along, to lurk, to ask questions. There's no such thing, uh, particularly from academics, uh, there's no such thing as a silly question and there's nothing wrong with being completely inexperienced um, at the scholarship of teaching and learning uh, inexperienced at research because we all had to start somewhere and i must say that as a relatively recent uh, transferee from my uh, disciplinary research into the scholarship of teaching and learning i've found it a remarkably quite remarkably welcoming um, group of people so please do uh, make use of the office hours. Um, and oh, and thank you to the people who are uh, may, uh, making new friends, making new contacts, can't agree more. That it's actually one of the advantages of, um, of doing this through, through Zoom. We, uh, we can talk to people who we might not normally talk to. Uh, and in fact, when we when we go into the breakout rooms shortly, uh, we'll be allocating them, uh, allocating people to them randomly. Uh, so again, unlike perhaps at a physical conference where you find a friend who you made last year and cluster with them over a cup of coffee or in the lunch queue, um, here we're perhaps freer to make new friends. Um, Huang Hoon, would you like to speak for a minute? Yes, you would like to speak for a minute. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Ooh, ESP. 
Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> yes, want, indeed. I, I want to uh, take advantage of uh, this opportunity with many of our Chinese colleagues who are present here uh, to to give a shout out to um, thinking thinking very seriously about about actively participating in ISOTO activities and uh, publication platforms like TLI. The reason why uh, I'm specifically uh, asking uh, China colleagues to do so is that generally we find that there is not enough representation from Asia and Asian voices in SOTO. So as somebody sitting in Singapore, I'm trying to encourage my, my Singapore, Malaysian, Taiwanese, uh, you name it, colleagues uh, to be part of the ISOTO conversation. Uh, ISOTO started out in North America and, uh, and understandably, historically, uh, the majority of the membership uh, are from the English speaking part of the world. So um, we are the Asia Pac region, and uh, Colin Karena and I uh, would really like to encourage uh, many more of our Asian colleagues uh, in this part of the world to participate in ISOTO activities and uh, be a voice in the SOTO scholarship. Um, I'm not consciously um, excluding our colleagues in Australia. Australian academics have a, a fairly strong presence uh, within our Asia-Pac region uh, on the educational front and certainly also uh, have visibility on the global front. So uh, it is a presence that I uh, totally am jealous about. Uh, and we had so many opportunities to learn from Australian and colleagues in New Zealand. Uh, so I'm just urging uh, our Asia colleagues uh, to join this community so that uh, people like myself and Johan don't feel so alone <laughs> in, uh, in, this, uh, in this work that we are all doing together. So we, we, I really would like to ask um, our China colleagues and colleagues in other parts of Asia uh, to make our presence um, this more visible in ISOTO. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan Hoon, and I have been very impressed in my time uh, working with the ISOTL group of people, um, how keen they are to focus on that first letter of the name, uh, the I, making it, making it a genuinely international society. Mm. Okay, uh, so there's nothing, uh, is there anything else there in the, uh, in, in the chat? Chris, thank you for your, um, uh, for your feedback, um, uh, finding that initially difficult to engage with students, which is a cultural difference, I think, from American students who are very, very keen to, um, uh, to tell you everything about themselves. Um, uh, Chinese students are perhaps a little more re reticent to speak to start off with but then really like the hands-on approach. Um, and it has made you uh, rethink your activities, which is, which is really interesting and, and embracing active learning. Uh, I find one, once given permission. Karina, shall we, shall we move to the general introductions? Do you think to the next slide? Oh, before we go to breakout rooms, right? I was just about to do that. Well done, Susanna, you got in just in time. Uh, there's another free online event there. Um, yes, we'll, ta we'll take any advertising uh, from similarly high quality organizations, Susanna. So thank you for that. Uh, we, uh, we might, uh, I hope that will, if that doesn't stick in the chat after we go to, um, after we go to the breakout rooms, uh, then please send it again and we'll, um, and, and we'll put it in the uh, via Sotl News. Um, and perhaps if you email it to, um, to me, uh, I, I can get it into the Hudson News for um, Australasia. Gosh, I nearly said Australia. Um, <clears throat> so thank you for that, Susanna. Um, Karina, would you mind shifting to the next slide, please? Now, well, I'm, <clears throat> we're going to create four breakout rooms, so that they, that'll be five people in each. We'll assign people automatically to it, so we don't know. That's a good idea. Um, so, so we, we, we don't know, we haven't predetermined who is, uh, who's going to get uh, into which group. Um, so it's a bit like a, a random meet and greet uh, at, the, um, at the opening plenary. And uh, I'll 
post those, um, those introductory questions there and get each of the five people uh, to introduce themselves. So I'm creating the four breakout rooms now. We are back. Excellent. Well, yes. welcome back, everyone. Hello, Karina. Hello, Hang Hoon. Um, I had a really nice conversation with my group. We are such a mixed profile group with uh, some very established uh, sort of practitioners and some of us just starting out and me always trying to figure out where the heck I am <laughs> on this continuum. So I was in good company. I don't know about you. Did you enjoy yourself? Um, I, I, I enjoyed myself hugely. I, I jumped into a, a couple of rooms and um, it was really interesting to, uh, to see. In fact, I introduced uh, two people um, who didn't know each other living in the same city mm. or, or the same, same province, actually in Wuhan. Uh, one, right. one of whom is a biochemist, Farina. We're, we're, uh, we're surrounded by them. You're mm. outnumbering us. Yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, Xiong Li. Yeah. The scientists um, will take over the world, don't you worry? Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> against... well, I don't actually mind that just at the fun. moment. <laughs> Maybe we should teach you some biochemistry, Colin. <laughs> um, excuse me, I, I did. I was taught biochemistry at, uh, at Karina's employer, actually. My first degree um, was indeed in biochemistry, but that was far too difficult for me, so I ended up doing business instead. <laughs> All right, so we, we have we have two minutes or so left. Um, Karina, should uh, since we still have Huang Hoon with us, shall we hand back to her for a um, uh, uh, for a, a final wrap up? I think um, so. Yeah. You mean and for a final bye? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, well in, in, in very... encouragement to to enjoy the conference, to make those connections yes. if you uh, if you possibly can, the friends you've already made in your breakout rooms. Uh, you've yeah. got um, uh, you've got about a minute or so uh, to okay. exchange contact details and so on. Huang Hoon, over right. to you. What I'll do is I'll save the chat. So whoever wants to leave an email, you can just put it there and I'll save it before we log out. I just want to repeat uh, the message that I was um, echoing in my own group. Uh, in my little group, I, I made at least two, if not three new friends that I didn't know before. And uh, in particular, uh, I reconnected with Fumiko from Japan and I was telling her that I have so few Japanese colleagues in Soto and teaching and learning and hoping that she will be a connector for us. And then uh, I met a new friend, uh, Sing Lan, uh, from engineering in China. And uh, he, he was now my new contact, you know? So, uh, and of course I met Sandy from nursing uh, in Australia. And uh, so I have gained one more Australian friend. And I think this is how we expand our network and expand our work, uh, sharing our work with one another. So uh, for those of us um, you know, who have made those connections, please try to keep that connection uh, alive. And you can always contact us uh, through Colin, Karina, myself, and we'll try to connect everybody up as much as is possible. So um, um, I, I will leave it at that. I thank you all for spending an hour with us. And uh, please enjoy the videos that will be loaded in the next couple of days uh, for, your, uh, for your own self-access. And uh, if needed, come to the office hours and engage some of our fellows uh, who are very eager to meet you. Okay, so with that, uh, thanks and uh, have a great afternoon, evening, night, morning, wherever, <laughs> uh, whatever the time zone is, I'm a bit confused by now. All right, so uh, Colin, Karina, Thank you so much. And um, let me go in and save the chat. Do any of our participants want to say anything before we all before you leave the meeting? Feel free. Corinne, are you okay? Okay. Chris? Okay, great. Sandy, anything? Good. Just thank you. It was really great, even just to chat for those 10 minutes or so with the, the little group I was in. We all learned, I think, a little bit about ourselves and also mm -hmm. that support that 
there's other people like each other out there and it doesn't matter where we are globally, we all experience those same sort of, you know, challenges and uh, connections in teaching and learning. Yeah, well said, thank you. Fumiko? How do we say bye-bye in Japanese? Bye-bye <laughs> uh, <sayonara. laughs> in Japanese is sayonara. <laughs> yes, but not bye-bye. Uh, See you yeah, Thank you very soon. much, Mor. So, yeah. See okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Chikao, any, any message uh, from China from your end? Yeah, um, I, just, uh, I just want to say thanks, many thanks to uh, all of you and to just like uh, the, uh, this conference, uh, the name of this conference is I sort of connect, connect, uh, and keep, make new connection and keep uh, all connections. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, I, I don't see uh, any uh, video on, so I'm not quite sure if people are. Uh, uh, Huang Hun, I've been looking at the chat, one person whose name I can't read, and actually, interestingly, one of the people in my group was apologizing because she wasn't able to speak English really uh, all that well, she said, uh -huh. but, but since I couldn't even read her name, okay. because it was written in Chinese, I, I thought she beat me anyway, uh, but uh, right. so, so, so somebody has said that uh, they'd really like to find the, uh, the basis to evaluate teaching from Sotl, and that's a really good question, um, mm. which uh, I hope will be asked and at least partially addressed during the conference. And right. uh, there's also a thanks to you uh, and a um, uh, and a compliment to your necklace, Wang Hoon. <laughs> okay, well, uh, okay, what I'll do is I'll definitely save the chat and then see what I can do in terms of following up, uh, if there's a way to follow up on some of these matters and alert uh, some of the uh, office hours that are, that are coming up in case uh, some of our fellows are able to directly address those issues also. Okay. All right okay. then. So um, I bid a reluctant farewell and hope that we'll see you again on Zoom or hopefully in person as soon as we can in the in the future okay bye bye everybody okay. take care see you. Bye. See you soon. bye bye thank you bye everyone <laughs>